My beloved ones, if you have been led by the Holy Spirit to this prophetic channel, then subscribe to it and press the notification bell icon to receive the daily prophetic anointing. Praise the Lord, my beloved ones. Today, our beautiful Lord God Jesus Christ has come with another powerful and joyful prophetic word for us. The Lord says that you shall laugh at the days to come. My beloved ones, this is according to Proverbs 31. The woman of Proverbs 31, she laughs at the days to come. But since we are in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit doesn't have any gender. So the Lord says for you all, no matter whether you are a man or a woman, whether you are a teenager, an elderly person, or even if you are a child, the Lord says that you shall laugh at the days to come. If you are a single mother, you are going to laugh at the days to come. If you are a single father, single parent, you are going to laugh at the days to come. Because you have done enough of compromising and you have done enough of the adjustment, the lacking shall not be seen anymore and this is the lord's promise for you the lord is promising you today that you shall not lack anything my beloved was this prophetic word this word is so powerful i can feel it in real it is real because i can see it through faith it is real the lord will give us this eyes and it is because of the faith we can see it. Indeed, we are going to laugh at the days to come. It has already started happening to me. I have started seeing to my spiritual eyes that I am laughing on the days to come. Not only for me, but also for you. Not only for my beloved ones, but also for you your beloved ones because you have shed those tears many years you spend in crying those tears were overflowing but now the joy shall be overflowing and you shall laugh at the days to come this means that you shall be fulfilled you shall not lack anything you shall be fulfilled in everything you shall be fulfilled in whatever you need and whatever you should have. The Lord says that you shall fulfill in such a way that you shall not stare, you shall not compare yourself with others and you shall not say, Lord, you gave it to them and you didn't give it to me. But now the Lord says you shall say, Lord, you gave it to me, so you give it to them as well. So whoever are in your neighborhood, you shall say, Lord, give it to them. They do not have what I have. So you shall have plenty of blessings. You shall have the majority of blessings. Everything you shall have and you shall wonder. You shall look up at the heaven and you shall say, Lord, you have blessed me with everything and anything. And so shall it be with others as well. So now the Lord is going to bless you with an overflowing of the blessings all that you have to do is to be receptive keep on receiving it i can see the overflow the spiritual overflow as the spirit is overflowing you are receiving the materialistic blessings as well and it is going to be an awesome moment it is going to be an extraordinary moment this i can speak because of the Holy Spirit, it is coming out of my spirit womb. And I had been crying for you, my beloved ones, crying out to the Lord. A couple of days before last week, I had cried out to the Lord from deep, from my spirit womb, that you, his beloved people, you whom the Lord has given in my hands, you shall not lack anything. You shall be fulfilled and the joy of the Lord shall be overflowing in your life as well. So my beloved ones, I am giving it to you. Take it. 
Take this joy, take this anointing, take this rejoicing, take this fulfillment in the materialistic realms. You shall have everything that you need. You shall have good food, good clothing, good relationships, good shelter. You shall wear new clothing. You shall look like a bride, like a handsome man and pretty woman daily. Each new day you shall wear the clothing of this beautiful anointing. Babu Lord wants, I can feel it is real. I can feel it. I can speak about it. I can talk about it because I know what I am saying. All you have to do is receive and you are receiving it. I know my beloved ones, you are receiving it. You are the children of God and you are receiving it. And I can feel the joy of the Lord, you are receiving it. It is going to you. I, I want to... I want to be so happy for you. I want to be happy for you. I, I am happy for you. My beloved ones, I remember the day when I was on my knees and I broke out my silence. I cried out to the Lord for you people. I said, Lord, their life should change. Their life should not remain the same. And after that, we have a lot of testimonies. But I remember the way I had cried out to the Lord. It broke off the bondages upon you the same day. And it was all the touch of the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot even cry out to the Lord. We cannot ask to the Lord in prayers. But that day I cried out for you because I am your shepherd and you are the Lord's sheep. And I asked the Lord to forgive all your sins and your life shall never be the same. I remember that day. I shall always remember that day because I know that day I saw a vision. I saw Angel Gabriel giving me the Bible, the Word of God. And in that it was written that your prayers are the beautiful incense that go to heaven. So the aroma of my prayers went to heaven because... I cried out so zealously, I love you, my beloved ones. I know how much I love you. I love you from my spirit. And you are my people, my family, my beloved ones. And I said the same thing to the Lord. They are my people. They are your people, Lord God, Jesus Christ. So they should be free from all the demonic powers, from the evil spirit of Antichrist, from the wickedness that is happening in the world and they should receive the blessings because you have the blessings the lord has given you the blessings and you should receive the blessings you should receive your godly audience spouse you should receive the faith for the same you should receive it all no matter what and the Lord's grace has come upon us, my beloved ones. I can feel the joy of the Lord in the spirit. All the time I am like this in the joy of the Lord. I don't know where the worries have gone because the faith of the Lord has come and I know he has answered the prayers with yes and amen. So the sweet aroma of the prayers has reached heaven and he loves to answer those prayers. I love you with the impartial love that I have. No matter how many sufferings I have suffered, but still I always loved you. I suffered for the Lord's name's sake. And I suffered because I knew that you should be happy. In the sufferings I kept on praying for you because I know that this day will come when you shall laugh at the days to come. My beloved ones, when the Lord has connected us, he has a plan and purpose, the divine connection. And it is the zealous prayers and it shall be answered no matter what. Now you are going to receive everything and anything and you shall laugh at the days to come. No matter what, even if you have failed in your faith, even if you have received it, very little. You are saying that 
you are not so courageous to move ahead and you have no faith but no matter you are my sister in Christ and today I am giving my faith to you it is not about us my beloved ones it is all about him because the glory goes to our Lord God Jesus Christ so you are his people you are the chosen one and the vessel for him my beloved ones, you are his vessel. You are the righteous one. And today, in spirit, I can see this word, this declaration is coming to you to edify your spirit womb. Once you edify, once you receive it, once you get resurrected, once you are uplifted, no one can stop you. No one can stop you and you shall see yourself at the top when you had been seeing others being blessed now you shall laugh at the days to come because you shall be at the top and this only our Lord God Jesus Christ can do so many people came and they insulted you you were grieved but you didn't leave Jesus you didn't leave the hand of Jesus you kept on continuing with the Lord that is the Lord's love Lord loves us and his love is within us so we do not leave him. We love him, we are faithful to him no matter what, we do not leave Jesus. We do not forsake Jesus, we do not discontinue with Jesus. But instead we still continue with Jesus. That means we live with Jesus, L-I-V-E, live with Jesus. And this continuity, the Lord has seen your continuity. And I feel so happy because I can feel it in my spirit. Jesus is happy for you because you continued. You didn't give up on the Lord. You continued. Even in the month of September, you said, yes, the Lord will do it for me. No matter even if it is the month end, you shall receive your godly audience powers. You kept on saying it, that hope, that faith, that unconditional love of God is within you. And due to this, you shall laugh at the days to come. You are a new being now. You are not the same hopeless person. You were hopeless earlier, but now... You have been edified so much that you are hopeful. No matter what happens, no matter what obstacles come, the Lord is the way maker. And I can see it happening here now. And due to the faith, I can ask Lord, whatever you are going to do in 10 days, do it in one or two days. Do it now, today, do it in one day. And it is happening. It is according to our faith, the way we hold on to the Lord. Lord, it is only you who can do it for me. And I trust you. I'll keep on trusting you. I'll not give up on you, Jesus. I'll not give up. I still trust you. No matter what is the situation, I know it shall come to pass. I shall receive the amazing blessings because his grace is amazing when you have this declaration when you know it's deep in your spirit womb that your Lord God Jesus Christ shall not fail you at that time you shall laugh at the days to come we thank all those who are honoring the Lord with their wealth and for all the offerings we bless you with a hundredfold of return my beloved ones if you have not yet received our Lord God Jesus Christ if you have not yet received the Holy Spirit, we shall pray a small prayer because this repentance is at hand. Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence to our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we receive salvation. We receive Holy Spirit into our heart. Oh Lord, forgive us our sins and help us to be born again. We shall seek you, O Lord Jesus Christ, unto Zion. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. My beloved ones, with this small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you, you shall walk the walk of righteousness.